Hey, it's Lauren from Radio World, and with most of the fish finders nowadays from Lowrance, Hummingbird, and Garmin, they're all coming with the optional down imaging. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about the differences between traditional 2D sonar and down imaging. So traditional sonar is a much wider beam than the down imaging, and it'll actually cover in front of the boat and behind the boat because it's actually a cone shape. Down imaging is more like a thin razor, of like a triangular shape. Um, so what that produces is much higher detailed images in the down imaging over the traditional sonar. So what down imaging is really good for is when you're fishing vertical structure like standing trees in a reservoir or weed beds in northern lakes. You'll see the detail I mean, much better on the down imaging than you will on the traditional fish finder. So when you're fishing vertical structure, try and use your down imaging. What the traditional sonar is good for is when you're using um, any techniques that would, you'd want to mark fish. So if you're drop shotting, uh, when you're fishing for bass, if you're vertical jigging for walleye or trolling for salmon and trout, you're going to want to go to your traditional sonar. So with the down imaging, just like traditional sonars, you have two frequencies. You have a higher frequency, 800 kilohertz, and a lower frequency, 455. And uh, the higher frequency will give you better detail, but the lower frequency will cover a wider area. So again, just like with your regular sonar, you can play with the frequencies depending on what type of fishing you're doing. If you want detail, use the 800 kilohertz, um, just like you'd use 200 kilohertz with the traditional sonar. But if you want to cover more area, like you would with traditional sonar on 83, use the 455 on the down imaging. For more tips on electronics like this, visit our YouTube page and be sure to subscribe. And if you want to learn more about this unit, visit radioworld.ca.